Ed in Queens, New York writes to me and he says, Hey, Paul, I find myself going in circles. <laughs> Join the crowd, buddy. I'm running in circles myself. Um, and I'm looking for a DAC that can effectively double as a preamp, preferably with an analog input for a phono stage and absolutely with silky smooth volume control. I want the music to bloom. Or maybe I want those features in a dedicated preamp while upgrading my external DAC. My centerpiece is a fine Unison Research Unico Primo Integrated, and that just confounds the preamp issue since the amp strives to serve most of the same functions, albeit with an unwieldy remote and jumpy volume control. So what gives? If I want to use a DAC as a preamp, is there any way to tell that the volume control will be robust and true? Or am I better off getting a killer preamp for its sound profile, input selection, and volume? Uh, the latter. Because in order to use a DAC as a preamp, all your sources have to be digital. Otherwise, you will be converting that analog signal from your phono in to digital audio and while that can be done really effectively it is not done without degradation it just isn't so you're going to lose something if you do that so we made a thing called the gain cell DAC and the gain cell DAC was an analog preamplifier with a digital to audio converter, a DAC inside. High quality DAC, high quality analog preamplifier, and that is the perfect one for you because that's what you want. You want an analog preamplifier first and a great DAC inside and life's good. Now you can take your separate phono preamplifier, put that into the analog and not suffer any degradation. I hope that makes, hope that makes sense for you, okay? So, Beware of fully digital DACs that claim to, without any loss, take an analog signal in and give it to you out, because that is going through an A to D converter like these. And there is a loss. It just, when you make those conversions, you, you have to suffer a little bit. You know, here at this recording studio, we take the analog output of a microphone run it through an A to D converter and get a digital output that we can then put and save and do what we do with it, right? We use the finest A to D converters in the world. We record everything at 11 megahertz sampling rate, 11 million times a second. There are one or two, three, I don't know how many, a handful of studios in the world that are capable and do this kind of conversion and recording, right? So we're one of just in the whole world of tiny handful that have that quality of equipment that we use. And still there's degradation, has to be. When we go from that microphone, that pure analog microphone preamp and go into this A to D converter, we're gonna lose a little bit. Now, it's okay for us because we do this and have the ability to then change the microphone, change the microphone, you know, uh, position. So here's an example. Got a guy playing acoustic guitar. We take a great microphone. We put it up here, runs it through the A to D. I'm listening to the output of the A to D. That's part of the key. I'm not listening to the analog signal. I don't care about the analog signal. I want to hear the end result right? And if it's a little bit a loss where I don't have as much harmonic richness that I want, I can move the microphone and I can manipulate the situation to get exactly the sound I want, which is this minus the degradation gives me that. You, on the other hand, are stuck. You're going to play a record. You're going to put that through an A to D converter suffer the loss, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, don't do it. Go analog, my friend. Analog preamp, get yourself a great DAC, life's good. All right.
Thanks for the question. Talk to everybody later.